When Dad arrived home, it was dinner time, and I'd just spent a completely unstructured day with his family, so I wasn't surprised that dinner time was total chaos as well. Here, you want some too? Is this yours? Wake up. Is that food on the top of your head there? Here, by your eyebrow. The Daniels have this huge dining room that's completely unused. Mum and Dad eat dinner in front of the television. What do you want, Mike? The kids eat in the kitchen, and the younger ones don't even eat at all. Kids not hungry. Brian and... Yeah, probably because they've been upstairs eating chips. You know, like I say, it's ridiculous. Let's talk about family time. We try and do our, our family time, but it doesn't work out. Right now, nothing works uh, out, Lisa. I mean, what, what did you do with the kids yesterday where you were spending even time with two of them? I didn't have time yesterday. What was you doing then? Picking up, running around, making them lunch, making them breakfast. Well, that, that, that's what every other mother does, Lisa. You make time. You sit down and, and you have fun with your, with your kids. I mean, isn't that why you had six kids? Didn't you want to be a mother? Yeah. And have relationships with each one of your kids? And that really concerns me, because they need your love. How much do you know about your kids? You know, I, we do a lot more with our kids than I think you think we do. Eight hours with the TV on, the computers, the video games. I mean, really, it's a babysitter. Dinner time, nobody eating around the table together as a family. No core. Well, you know, we try to eat together as a, as a family, but everybody's screaming and throwing this and crying and needing to go to a timeout. And... You know, despite what you're seeing on the outside, the temper tantrums, the shouting. They want the rules, they want the expectations. They need that guidance. I'm willing to try anything. Lisa? I'm willing to, to try and get it to work. I just feel like, uh, like there's nothing we can do to change. But I know that if you're willing to have some faith in what we're about to do here, and you're prepared to step up that we can make some serious changes here. It's going to be hard work because you've spent so many years getting it to this place. So are we ready? I'm ready. Yeah. We can go back up this way. I, I want to go under that tree. I think the family is overall better now. We've got boundaries. We've got discipline. We've got family time. We've got parenting. He just went into water. Watch him pop back up. It was a really difficult struggle for Lisa, but she just really stepped up, and she seems to be managing the kids much better. Oh, boy, Steve. I'm feeling a lot more confident. They're listening to me now. My kids know that there's a new mama sheriff in town. <laughs> I'm proud of my family. I, I feel like we've gone through a very difficult process, but now looking back, it had to happen. Now I feel like there's hope. <laughs> my family's future is a lot stronger, more together, happier. <laughs> no, don't spin me around. <laughs> I'm glad that Joe came. Yeah, I'm gonna miss Joe.